Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Okami HD Blind. In the last episode we finished the tiny dungeon. I'm not really sure what to call it because it wasn't really called a dungeon. I guess you could just say it's the castle or whatever you would call this. Also I just realized my items unequipped because I changed them after I saved. Uh, in this episode we're actually going to do some fishing because someone told me in the comments that uh, we're not going to have that expensive fish for very long so i figured if i'm gonna make some money off of fishing might as well do it now how pleasant it is to leisurely wait for a fish to bite will you not join me in my newfound passion sure why not and i also should mention this is the first episode i'm recording of okami specifically with my mic arm which you know positions the mic in a much better spot for me to record this game so not only should the sound be a little bit more high quality because i'm able to get closer to the mic I can sit in a much more comfortable position, which also probably means my my arm movements, movements will be a little bit more exact, so maybe we can draw better. Let's psych ourselves up, Amy. Let's do it. So it's been a while since we've, like, we actually, we haven't, like, fished on our own time at all yet, have we? Got the basic idea, right? Yeah, we got it. Okay. So this is, like, the first time we're actually taking the time to fish on our own. Yeah, you did get something, buddy. Ooh, other way. This is a very different fishing system than most games, I gotta admit. Like, just moving the opposite direction of the fish in general instead of closer to you. That is a shrimp. Or perhaps a lobster? Craw. Crawfish. Yeah! We've caught one of those before. Way to go, Amy. Yeah, even though this is a new area of fishing, it might it must have the same things that maybe the uh, the bridge had, I'd imagine. Since we are, you know, we're still in Science City, so it's pretty much the same spot. Okay, that didn't try to get away at all. What is that? It looks like a catfish. Gobi! No, we saw those before, too. Don't give up now. I wonder if there's a bit of a, like, is there such a thing as a fishing chain? If you fish for a certain amount of fish in a row? Without failing, I guess. I don't know how you really could fail at this, but if you get a certain amount of fish in a row, you get, like, you know, super big fish. I don't know. Playing this really does make me want to get, like, legitimately get a fishing game on the Switch. I know there's one out there. There's hunting games on the Switch, too, and I think one just released. It's like Cabela's whatever. Whatever or something. There's a big fish right there. I'm going to try and get it. Should I try going for some of the smaller fish? Because I'm trying to hook the biggest fish there every time. I'm thinking maybe if I go for, like, a smaller fish, I'll have better luck. This guy's, like, moving around a lot, though. I think we might have something new here. Yeah, we do. What do we got? Trout. So that's the jingle for a new fish. Yeah, he just says that every time. I thought that meant that we were on, like, some kind of streak. Let's go for that really small fish in the middle. That ought to be something new, right? Because we don't usually go for the small fish. That's how they get you. They make the rare ones small. So you're like, oh, that's nothing special. Yeah, that's new. Pretty sure, unless we got it in the forest. Which, no, because this is going to be salt water. The forest would have been fresh water because it's a, a lake. Maybe. I don't know. I just want to get a bunch of different fish. I'm not sure how long... That is a humongous fish. That's got to be something special. No, it disappeared! Oh, here it is. I was waiting for it to get away from everything else. Oh, this boy's huge. Oh my god, that is the most sensitive thing. You see how quickly the face moves around on the bar there? This is something special. This is the hardest one I've had to get. What is that? That's an ugly boy. Ooh, more! Jeez, he keeps turning around so quickly, I don't have time to react. This is the good stuff. He's gotta be dope. Oh my god. We must almost have him. Oh my god. Please, he's gonna get away. Mm -hmm. 
This is ridiculously hard, you would not imagine. It's nighttime. Surely he gets away after a certain amount of time. Give me. Again? Please, move in one direction for more than a second. There we go, that's three. That's gotta be it. Yes! Oh my goodness! Is that a shark? A sturgeon. Yeesh, that's a huge boy! That's gotta be worth a ton! We'll go for one more fish. I'll go for the big one again. I think I hooked something. God, did you see him zoom? No, this isn't a sturgeon, because it's not nearly as hard. Something normal. What is that? Ugh! It makes me not want to end fishing, because we're just constantly seeing new fish. And I want to eventually fill up that fishing... Almanac, or whatever you want to call it. Fishing guide. And that was, what, two cuts? I didn't keep track. Robalo. Okay, he's got red eyes. Alright. One more. Once we get a repeat, we'll stop. How about that? How's that sound? These are all average sized. Are we gonna get one that's bigger? Yeah, there's one. I'm assuming, like, general rule is... Bigger ones are gonna be worth more, right? This doesn't feel quite like either of the last two. If anything, it's like the, uh... The one that took forever. I forgot its name already. Oh yeah, it's definitely a lot more sensitive than, than the Robalo. Yeah, I predict you, boy. That's something new! Is that just a bass? I think it is. A sea bass. But this is... Yeah, this is salt water, isn't it? So it makes sense. Okay. Get up here. Surely there's, like, whales and stuff you get eventually, right, though? Like, I can't imagine them just being like, Oh, we're satisfied with just putting normal fish in there. No, there's gotta be, like, some fantastic, like, sea dragon. Hutchin. Okay. It's not a bass. Looks like it. I'm no expert on fish by any means, but... What, we, we've spent seven minutes fishing? We'll get one more. We're still getting, like, new fish. And this is going to be the time it's, you know, most profitable for us, so... Oh, that's a big green area. This must be an average boy. Like, it's never going to be more profitable than now, apparently. Okay, we already have this guy. And, uh... I do need the 100 monies. A trout. Or did we not get a trout yet? I don't know. We do need the 100 money or whatever it's called. Is it actually called Yen? Or is it like... Zenny is Dragon Ball Z. I think it's called Yen in this game. He has life pulsing through his rod. Great, let's leave. Um, we'll see how all that sells for. Because I don't think I've tried selling at this, this shop that we're about to go to. It's really pretty at night. I like how the cherry blossoms turn into like a, a purplish... A light purple. Hello? We haven't gotten this yet? Hello? Okay. A stray bead! Okay. Once again, I'm not sure if I'm even gonna, like, actually go for all of those, because... Apparently they're only for stuff in New Game Plus. I'm not seeing any more light beams into the sky, so I'm assuming that we're good there. Okay! And it's daytime. So, I guess now we're gonna leave. Uh, are we going to be able to go to Northern... Rishima Coast now that we've completed that what 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 were they getting us to do last time when we ended off I'm not sure if it was really pointing us anywhere I think we just continue onwards at this point because we finished the big arc that we were doing currently Ooh, it's been so long that I've forgotten did that did that girl want us to follow her alien like uh, bamboo girl that's right! She wanted us to go to Saucer Sanctuary. That's what we're doing now. Okay. Remembered? Took a little bit of thinking. But we got there. Alright, the shop should be right here in this district, so let's check it out. Give me that big money. If we're lucky... Oh yeah, it's our first time being in town with it not being, you know, evil. We have a bunch of trees to bloom. Sweet. 
The cursed zone vanished along with that funky mist. Looks like the city's come back to life. Emmy, bet you never saw a happen in plates like this a hundred years ago. This must be exciting for you, being from the country and all. Now I know you just want to have fun, but don't go overboard. I mean, I don't want you to forget what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah, we're supposed to be blooming these trees, boy. What's this? This is different. This is like a food store? Yeah, we're gonna have to re-explore the area. It seems like, oh, a food store, I say. No, it's a restaurant. This afternoon is so relaxing. She's a literal cat. Talking about a maid cafe. I mean, everything's all ready. Now all we have to do is wait for the customers. Okay. We get to go to the back. What is up, my man? Hello there, pup. You look like someone who appreciates fine cuisine. Proper diet is the key to life. Eat well and be healthy. I'm Yama, top chef, chef in Cyan City. Pleased to meet ya. We're getting a character introduc introduction. Must be something important. What do you think about this huge pot and this giant stove? Impressive, eh? I invested every yen to my name into him. Okay, so the money is called yen. Just making sure. I had to get him special order for what I'm aiming to do. Ever heard of the tale about that mushroom? There's not a single chef in the world that doesn't know about it. I'm talking about the legendary golden mushroom. I've spent decades trying to master the culinary arts. But I've yet to make a dish that truly satisfies me. If only I could get my paws on one of those golden mushrooms. I'm sure I could prove my true skill by making the ultimate dish. I already have this huge pot and giant stove. All I need now is a golden mushroom. Then I'll master the art of cooking. That is my dream. You've repeated like every single point of your dialogue here about three times, my man. Could it be? Is that... Oh, do we have it? Must have been one of those key items we picked up like a year ago and never delivered. That sparkling gold color, that captivating shape. Yes, there can be no doubt. Where in the world did you find it, pup? Oh, never mind that. Probably some random store around the world. With that mushroom, I could fulfill my dream. My dream to master the art of cooking. Please, pup, please, I must have that mushroom. What could a dog do with it anyway? Sure. I wonder what we're going to get from this. This is the first time we've delivered a key item. Oh, thank you. You're such a good pup. With this golden mushroom, I will attempt to make the ultimate dish. My long-cherished dream will finally be fulfilled. Okay. Anything else? Hmm? Oh, yes. The ultimate dish. I was so overwhelmed by emotion when the legendary golden mushroom came into my paws. Even says paws. Now a day has passed without my preparing this huge pot and giant stove for this day, blah blah blah. Wait no more. Ultimate shit. Ultimate thing. Fan the flames dance! What's going on? What? What am I supposed to draw? I can't draw fire. I can't just make fire appear. Is that an ability we need? What? What? The pot's not getting hot enough for the ultimate dish. I fanned so hard, but it didn't even come to a boil. That thing back there. Isn't that the mark of Moogami, the god of Inferno? Oh, no way. Did he put that there thinking he could harness the power of Inferno to heat up the huge pot? Okay, so is that what we're supposed to draw? Are we about to get a new god? Or what? Do we need that sometime later? I don't know. We'll try it, though. Because it's not you. These sequences don't usually teach you a new ability. Sure enough, that worked. Okay, so that's how they're introducing us to a god. Huh. Hey, it's our boy! Ah, Matarasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. This is a chicken. My power had diminished while you were away. But that man's zeal and your own pure heart have restored my power. I have harnessed his fervent energy to bestow upon you a new power. Unleash your wrath into a mighty fire burst. That's how we're going to get the uh, special attack on those uh, icy wheels. I just realized. I did it! My long cherished dream, the ultimate dish is ready. I give you rice stew eruption. Well, what do you think, pump? Pretty impressive. 
That'd be worth a lot of money. Ooh, that's a lot of praise. So we get a new ability, got a lot of praise, and you doing all these all these dishes are probably gonna get us a, a bit of money too. Enough about that. Never thought you'd get the power of Moagami here, Ami. Remember that mark on the wall? Draw that and you can invoke the power of Inferno anytime you want. That's good. We've been we we've been needing a power to just make fire. Specialty of the house. Oh god! Look at our money! That's ridiculous! What? Is it- Oh my god! Okay, so, so much about selling all the fish so we get enough money to buy that sword. We already got it. Pretty much. Also, I have been told by Ralph. I remember that this was Ralph. That uh, we need to get a lot of demon things, because apparently we're going to get more and more things to use them on. As time goes on, I'm going to keep it daytime just in case some shops close at night. You never know. Wow! Yeah, good thing we're exploring a little bit, huh? That's nuts. Hello? Hello? Oh, come on, really? You're gonna tempt me with something that good? Exorcism slip L. We gotta use that sometime. I wonder if... Uh, hold on. No? Do I need to start going right? Yeah, I need to start with the right side first. That didn't get me any praise, oddly enough. I thought it would. Huh. Interesting. Let's go around and bloom all these trees. What are they confused about? Hello? Hello? The waves part and then we see a demon face across the sea. Bringing monsters in our midst, the face crawls, draws closer in the mist. My grandfather used to sing that song all the time. That was a song, was it? It means there's an island that looks like a demon, and it's going to bring lots of monsters here. It's scary. Moon Cave Island? Huh. Interesting. What's up with you? I didn't realize they're actually singing. Interesting. The north wind blows and blows. To the northern sky, evil goes. The north wind blows and blows. In the northern land, evil grows. That almost sounds like a hint to make the... the wind blow northward. For like, I don't know, some secret or something. Hello there. I'll take you. Infinity. Like we need it. We really don't. All right, let's bloom some more trees. This guy ought to be happy. His house is still cursed, though. What? Huh. I wonder if there's anything we can do about that. I think we burn the top off, maybe? Can we bloom it, actually? Hold on. No, still bad. Okay, interesting. And it did actually allow us to bloom it, so... That's weird. Hold on. Ugh! I'm trying to get a good angle on this tree here. That was lenient. What's up? Oh, hello again, pooch. Just look, the air in Cyan City is crystal clear today. What a relief after that accursed mist had covered the city. That no good mist withered all the trees I lovingly tended to. But it's gone now, as you can plainly see. Cyan City looks like her old self once more. Okay. Would you care to see the Gura Shuffle, pooch? Do not doubt my resolve. I shall dance when the time has come. But the city's wounds are deep. If I did the girl shuffle now, I doubt my strength would suffice. Okay, that was a sacred protector of Cyan City, but as you can clearly see, it's been possessed by evil spirits. I like how things like that are just clear. Also, do we need to bloom his head? It will take considerable power to make such cursed trees bloom. I'm overwhelmed by the sheer number of them in the city. So I shall shave my dance till the trees that aren't blossomed bloom. Okay, so we do actually need to go and blossom all. Hold on. Yeah, I figured as much. That's a whole 20. He looks a lot nicer. And his, his little tree, his stump, matches his color palette a lot more. Okay, so... free. Uh, fix all the trees and then come back. Alrighty. Uh, so... This shop. Isn't this something special? This is the guy that showed us to the bottom of the... The hole. He's still not here. Okay. Well, never mind then. Guess we'll ignore it. Okay, so suddenly we have a lot of... Th I thought we were going to be traveling out of Science City this episode. No, I don't think that's happening. Not today, at least. So we got this treat. There's just so many... Okay, daytime. Sure thing. 
God, there's so many trees. Look at them all. If we weren't getting one praise for each of them, we'd be... We'd be rich. Can I not bloom this one? Am I just going nuts? It's right behind this thing. Hold on, let me cut that down. Oh! Alright, I'm thinking that's not one I have to bloom. Also, I definitely lit that just a few seconds ago. So that's not permanent. What's the point of it, then? Huh. I wonder if there's any reason to be lighting the torches? Maybe it's a Zelda thing. If you light enough of them quick enough, you get a, you get a treasure. Wait, what? Oh, hold on! Does the fire need to be burning nearby to light to fix these? Still didn't work. Is that one still lit? It is. Let's light all of these. Wait, hold on. How much did that use? That used so much energy. Okay, so we're getting those now, huh? Let's use an infinity stone. Was that used like three ink pots or what? It's nuts, man. Can I really not do these? Yeah, that definitely would have done it. I'm thinking we gotta light all these torches for something. Doesn't look like they ever go out, which is a good thing. Go ahead and get the rest of these. I'm afraid to, like, go into the shop while we're still working on these torches, because I don't want them to go unlit. I know there was one over here. This one went back out. I'm not sure why. I don't know if it was too long. Because these are staying lit. We've got a puzzle on our hands, lads. Y you still gonna count that? All right, I'll take it. These big trees are fine. These aren't cursed. Maybe we just can't bloom that first tree until we do the the dance of happiness. That one's evil. I'm gonna keep lighting these as I see them, just in case. You never know. Please! Do it to them. There we go. That's gotta be more than, like, one ink pot. It even takes a while for it to allow me to, uh, draw again. It's a lot of these torches, aren't there? Well, hold on. Let's just draw that one over. It's that easy. And certainly that uses a lot less ink, too. God, look at our ink. That's after using the Infinity Stone for a while. So that one's cursed as well. Do we need to, like, fix the ground around it or what? No, that didn't do anything. Huh. Those might all be affected by the dance thing. Like this one. Please. Here we go. Yeah, that uses like three ink pots. Huh. So that's why we're going to need more ink. So you're the one that I sell the fish to. People fishing over there again. Anyway, I don't have much in stock thanks to the water dragon, but business is business and I'd like to sell whatever I have. Okay. So definitely sell. So he's still giving a lot of money for the fish. Yeah, you know, it doesn't really look like it, but we'll sell them all anyway. Big money. Got treasures too. Good stuff. So that gives us 1400. Uh, I have plenty of all of these, so I don't really need any of those. Yep, I'm not going to buy anything from you. However, the weapon shop I would like to get my little buddy. My buddy the big sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've heard it. Okay, so you got my boy the seven strike. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Thank you very much. I'm not gonna use it yet because we haven't even. He has a bomb right there. We haven't even shown off, shown off this rosary. 
So have we gotten all of the the trees? Well, no, we haven't. We haven't gotten this one. Go back around and get them. That didn't give me any praise. Hold on, are these getting un... unbloomed somehow? That one at the end gave us praise. Uh-oh, I'm a little worried. What's this? There's so many buildings. This one's cursed again. I'm still gonna light all these torches. Surely they're not just sitting around here for fun. Yeah, that wasn't gonna make it, was it? Three ink pots. Every time. This place closed. What is that? Huh. Is there like a secret entrance? Maybe? No. Okay. Wait. Yes! Just when I was about to give up. Boy, we got a secret entrance. Let's go! This seems like a minigame house. Like you would have in, like, Zelda. The ones where you have to, like, choose the right treasure chest. Guess I'm just gonna loot him out. Incense burner? What's that thing on the left? Oh, well, it's just a bone. It looked weird because of the smoke. Uh, all sorts of doodads and knickknacks. Interesting. Open this up. This is just like a storage room then. It's not a mini game. Okay. That's fine. I suppose. If we must. It's like I even need the money at this point. Ridiculous. I guess I could overdo myself on like seeds and whatnot. The food. Uh, hello there. Hold on. Is this like chained off? Yeah. It's the only way to get... Oh, a sun fragment. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of worth it. Here we go. And there's a thing right here. Cool. That seems like it. I'm fairly certain. Yeah, that's just another way to get up. Okay. The music's interesting as well. Okay. That's all that's for. I mean, I say that's all as if we didn't just get like five treasures and a sun fragment. I don't know. I expected there to be like some character in there or something. Like, oh gosh, you're stealing from us. That's not godly of you. Not very goddessly of you. Torches went out, didn't they? Hold on, isn't this supposed to be like a big torch? Yeah. Should have lit that. We could have just drawn all the... Or, or not. Big Brazier. They must use it to light up the road at night, but it's completely out. Yeah, so can't I just... Try to get it right in the middle. No, nothing. Do you have something to say about this? City air is a hundred times better than it was before. I feel right as rain. Still something bothering me. it has been a thief in here in the city for a long time. He disappeared with all the fuss about the mist. Now that the city is back on its feet, the no good lout has made his return. Hayazo. Okay. Well, tell us more. I thought that said Samurai Daddy for a second there. That's what you're wondering, right? Well, it's quite simple. I'm one of his victims. He stole my precious precious glass watch. I was here the other night and I noticed it was missing. I looked all over for it, but it was too late. Okay. Interesting. By interesting, I obviously mean not. Cursed tree. So did we j I guess we just didn't light this one. Yeah, the torches are still lit, so. I wonder why the big, big brazier isn't lit. Well, hold on. Can I just, instead of lighting it myself... Interesting, okay. Please! Can I... Well, let's use the one closer. Could just draw the fire into it, maybe? That lit it. Interesting. The Cursed Zone is still on those big trees, though, so that wasn't... That wasn't what did it. Hold on, what does he say now? Sure lights up the city when it's lit. Is it, does it do something at night? Hold on, maybe lighting the lights prevents the thief from like getting away with all this. Maybe, I'm not saying that for sure, but who knows? You look like you have a problem. That strange mist 
that was all over town is gone now, but my father still hasn't been able to wake up. Rumor has it that the mist is making everyone ill, so why won't the go why won't the gods take my make my father better now? All I need is medicine, then I can make him well, but I've never had enough money to buy something like that. Herbal medicine. Wasn't that something we could buy? Uh, let's... What store did we buy the stuff before from? And is that one of these stores around here? Hold on, you have something else to say again. Maybe you could stiff them out. Dogs are good at that. We'll see. Okay, he still has the green arrow, but he's not saying anything new. Interesting. Hey, I could- I'm- I swear these trees are just getting unbloomed. Yeah, because that one was bloomed before, for sure. Okay, this is definitely weird. What's going on? Also, what's this place? We didn't go in before. Is this another dojo? Or not? No, this is something completely different. What a worry this man is. My husband's trying to come up with a fashionable new design. He's absorbed in the next room. He won't lift a finger to help me. That rumor has driven all our customers away. Maybe you could go and give them a good talking to. Okay. I see you have something else to say, but let's figure this out first. Want to keep an old warrior work company? I keep this kimono shop, as you can see, but I feel it's time for a change. I'm getting a bit sick and tired of seeing the same old colors. I'm trying to think of an exciting new design. Okay, another side quest. Oh boy, this place is filled to the brim with stuff to do. Thing is, it's not quite as easy as I'd hope. I'm such a lost. I'm tempted to ask you to help for help, doggy. Okay. I could catch on across the city. Take a look at that kimono back there. I found out simply by staring at one, at it, one can draw inspiration. Just staring at it is the way to go. It's simple. <sighs> okay. Um... We did it. Good heavens! How did that design end up appearing all there all by itself? Maybe my inspiration worked on the kimono after all. Please tell me we're going to see tons of people wearing that. Oh, that'd be wonderful. If a design ma miraculously appeared, then maybe the inspiration's taken some sort of divine quality. I mean, I'd say so. Hold on, is that going to redo the design? Huh. Well, is that done? Did we do what we needed to do? What's up? See the row of willow trees outside her shop? People say a strange ghost appears there at night. Not that it seems to do anyone any harm, mind you. Jeez. So much, so much happens here at night, right? Oh, I was trying to cut through that. Okay, well, I'm going to actually go ahead and end it there, and in the next episode, we're going to explore everything that happens at night. There's a thief, we know of a ghost now, and for some reason, the trees that I'm blooming are mysteriously getting unbloomed. Like, random things are being undone, like these aren't on fire anymore. Oh, that's a warp point? I saw it. There was definitely a warp point there. Yeah, there's a warp point right there, so that's good. Wait, what? There's multiple. What's going on? Yeah, there's... This city's got some problems, so we're gonna take them on in the next episode. See you all then, and goodbye.